to start this session of the show, I'd like to talk about arguments and what they are. Well, arguments are when you have a disagreement with someone. And we argue for a reason because we have to get things that are bothering us off our chest. If we don't get what is bothering us off our chest, it is no good. We are bottling everything up and if we shake the bottle like I said yesterday in the videos, we will go psh everywhere. And then we're covered in sticky stuff. And we regret not getting them things that are bothering us off our chest sooner rather than later. How does an argument start? I hear you ask. Well, an argument starts when we raise our voice and we suddenly get angry. We argue because we want to do something and it's not possible. We argue with a person that we might not get along with and we raise our voice at them and shout at them. And an argument is not the way to go. To avoid having an argument, it is best to think about what to say to one person, what to say to someone before you approach them, and how you are going to approach them, and how you are going to start the conversation with them. It is also very important to listen to what the person in front with you has to say and listen to their side of the story and get their side of the story. It is no good having a full-on argument because you know why? It won't get us anywhere. Arguing is no good, especially if we have not got anything to argue about. And if you have an argument with someone, then it doesn't diffuse the situation. Arguments are terrible. And I know that I've had arguments with people in the past, real dudes. I can tell you that now. So how do you avoid an argument? from starting in the first place. Well, firstly, you should say in a calm voice, I'm sorry, but I don't. I don't like what you're saying or doing. Or another way of saying it is I disagree with what you're saying and say it in a nice, calm voice. And don't raise your voice, because if you have an argument and raise your voice for no reason, then you are not only letting yourself down, but you are letting the person that is with you down as well. And having an argument is not a good thing. An argument can start anywhere, at the family dinner table, or in bed, or in the car. We may have an argument about what television program we'd like to watch, or what radio station we would like to listen to. And Another way of avoiding arguments, ladies and gentlemen, is having a compromise and voting. 
by the Chabda compromise and vote in an adult-like way because it's the only way that you can avoid having an argument with your loved ones and arguing does not cut the cake you should never argue with anyone at all now, now I'd like to ask you if you were suddenly have you ever had an argument with your mum or your dad or your grandpa or your grandma or your sister or brother? Perhaps you had. Perhaps you hadn't. What if you had an argument with someone about? Comment below on this video when I put it together today. And, and another thing I'd like to tell you viewers that if you argue with someone for no apparent reason it will make you and the person feel absolutely terrible and you go home thinking I wish I'd handle the situation in a better way how will I approach the person next time I want to speak to them? And do you know why we also argue? Because we have arguments with people on the phone. Lots of people argue with the other person who is on the phone. And, we, and they disagree in, a, in an inappropriate way. So that's how arguments start. So, would you argue with anyone that you like for no apparent reason? I wouldn't think so. So, if you're going to argue, it is not worth the risk. If you've got a problem, please sort it out in an, an adult-like way. And remember, have a compromise and a group and have a vote. But remember, do it in an adult-like way. And it's the only way to avoid having an argument with someone in the long run. Because I can tell you viewers, arguing does not get us anywhere, nor will it get us anywhere. We are all adults and there is no need to have an argument. I hope that the tips about arguing on this video will will help you to prevent you from having a, an argument with the ones that you love. Stay stay with me now because I'm coming up with the closing sequence to the show.